In this presentation, you're going to learn about the driving forces of perseverance. What makes someone persevere through the rough moments in their lives? If they're achieving a long-term goal, what keeps them going no matter what? You're about to find out a few elements of what does that in this presentation. It's important that we consider the factors that will get us to work hard, stay focused, and make changes whenever and wherever necessary. So be sure to take notes throughout this presentation so you can make a plan to persevere in your life, whenever and wherever it matters most. With that said, let's begin. First up, one of the driving forces of perseverance is passion. There is no question that we can do what we love and love what we do. If we didn't love it, why bother? Even when it's something you love doing, there will be challenges that arise you're going to deal with issues that will require solutions. You can solve them on your own or talk to someone who can help. It needs to be someone that has a great deal of knowledge of what you both do. It might be something you learn new, and that alone will drive you to keep doing what you love. If you like learning new things, then overcoming challenges will be easier. If you love what you do, then you show no signs of stopping anytime soon. Plus you'll feel like it's a great idea to ask for help when there's a need to do so. Another driving force we'll look at is self-belief. If you believe in yourself, odds are you'll have no problem doing something that you want to achieve. Needless to say, if you do the opposite, it will be difficult to perform the task at hand. It's always a good idea to be able to say to yourself, I can do this. The challenges that stand before me won't stop me. Or similar language. If you maintain a self-positive image and be able to get the work done knowing it will be completed, then there's nothing that's going to stop you. Just believe that you can do it without your heart set on the maximum outcome. Being a perfectionist can really eat away at your self-belief, so aim for just getting it done. If you make a mistake, say that it's a learning process. This way, you'll be able to learn on approach to prevent making the same mistakes again and again. Finally, there's the growth mindset. This will be the final driving force we'll be looking at in terms of perseverance. The important thing to know is that a growth mindset can help you view things from a different perspective. It will help you view so-called failures as setbacks. It will allow you to minimize your self-limiting beliefs. The idea is to think of yourself as someone who is a lifelong educator. You know that it's a growth process no matter what goals you set your mind to. Another thing to be aware of is that you'll need a growth mindset to help you develop the ideal person you want to become. You want to be successful. You want to be positive. And it takes a growth mindset to get the job done. This will wrap up our presentation on the driving forces of perseverance. We hope that this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to hear from you. It's important to have that perseverance in your life when it comes to success. So keep doing what you love, adopt a growing mindset, and always believe in yourself. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you soon. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.